how to do a market analysis for a business plan. You know what, I've done hundreds of them. I actually wrote a book on it. We're gonna hit that. As entrepreneurs and business owners, we know that if we have a clear plan, anything becomes possible. And if you can have a clear plan, a clear process to create that plan, and a way to create clarity with your partner, your spouse, you can drive to amazing heights. All right, so if you're looking to, to figure out how you're working on your business plan, fantastic, good for you. And you're starting and it's like, ah, man, I don't really know how to do this market analysis thing. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here. Fair enough. So, so there's a few different components and we're gonna tell you some specifics on what you can and what you should do when you're doing your market analysis. So I started my first of, uh, of 16 companies when I was 19, I'm in my mid 50s. I've helped hundreds of companies. I've built, bought, sold, wrecked, I've been around the block with this. And when it comes to creating the market analysis, you wanna start with what you believe your product or service is gonna be. But don't make it perfect. Try and get it about two thirds to 80% of the way there. I call it half-baked. Get your idea half-baked on what you think it could or should be. And don't get wrapped around the axle focused on the wrong stuff at the end. So often business owners will spend 90% of their time in the last 10% and that isn't exactly what somebody wanted. They wanted it a different way. So if you can come up with just the general idea and a few things that make your product, service, or offering a little different or more unique, what is it you bring to the table? And again, we talk about that in the book on how to help figure those things out. But once you do that, define that and write it out. Now the next is gonna be a lot about just being curious and doing outreach. But first off, take your hat off from business owner and, and and creator and say, okay, who do I think my target market is? And you define, if you think you're that target market, then do your best to put your persona on that you're that person that would be your target market and actually go out and see if you can solve the problem yourself. How would you do that? Well, likely you're gonna go on the internet, you're gonna to talk to other people, but you're going to start figuring out what is it and how are people trying to solve this problem now? Where are they going? Now there's multiple reasons this is good because you're starting to understand what the market is saying, what they're offering. It's gonna understand an idea around what the pricing could be. And it's also gonna help you understand what are the words they're using and what are the pain points that they're addressing. If you find somebody who's been around the block and done this for 20 years, they've already figured a lot of that crap out and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So first off, just do your research and start trying to solve the problem as if you are the target client. Now, the next thing is, is start reaching out to those people. Be like, well, I don't wanna tell my idea. Trust me, you're not gonna hurt anything. And I, I would do it and I've gone to where, yeah, this is what I'm doing and I I'm, I'm, would love to get your feedback. Now, some people are gonna be frustrated and hang up, but most of them won't. To an entrepreneur, the most beautiful sound they can ever hear is the sound of their own voice. So if somebody calls up and says, hey, I'm interested in what you do, it seems like you do this really well, I'm looking at getting into the business, I'd love to talk to, to, to you and hear what you have to say. Now, in some cases, this, this may save you a ton of pain. An owner may say, yeah, you know, we've been doing this and it's been great, but for the last four years, things have been declining and we're, it's leaning and we're looking for our alternatives. On the flip side, I've seen many times where somebody says, yeah, actually this business is great. We're, we're busy, we're busier and we can handle. And what are you gonna do? And it's like, well, I'm looking at this, this section or this target. It's like, well, huh, you know what? If you tweak it this way and you just did this stuff over here, we don't like doing that, but we have people ask for it. I'll give you all the referrals. I, I kid you not, that has happened a lot. Now that to me right there suggests from a market analysis standpoint that market is reasonably strong. So first off is, is you do that, you're, you've, you've defined what your product or service is mostly, then you've gone through and tried to solve the problem and you're being an awareness and you're doing your research on the words and the pain points and the pricing that people are using. Then the third is you've reached out to competition, see what they say, see, see where their head's at and see if there's some alternatives. Now the next one is if you can find potential clients, somebody who could be a potential user of your service. I'm gonna suggest that you go and talk to them, but this is important, this is a nuance, but it's really important. When you do your outreach, say, look, I'm considering doing these things and I would love your opinion. I'm not selling to you. I just wanna know what you're thinking and I'd love your candid feedback. When you do this, you're asking for help. And as human beings, we love helping each other. 
And also, as human beings, particularly in the US, we hate anybody trying to sell us. We'll put up a brick wall, we are pros at blocking that out. But if somebody says, hey, would you mind helping me with this? I'd love to get your feedback. And say, boom, and start asking those questions. Now you can also say, if you were in my shoes, what else would you be doing? How else would you be testing this market? Where else would you be going? Who else would you be talking to? And again, in the book, we talk about all these things. And in the, we've got a whole course that helps you smoke these things out. But when you start to smoke those things out and you start understanding it, man, you're going to have a much, much better idea. And if they say, yeah, you know, I like most of this, but I don't like how you're doing this over here. But if you did this, you know what, I'd actually be your client. It, it may actually help you redefine what your product or service is so that you're trying to come up with something that's going to be more unique and fits the market in a better way. So once you've done this, you, you're really going to start having a much better feel on what the market looks like. And then when you come through and if it was a little lumpy, all you have to do is go back, refine it and repeat it. Keep doing this until you're really comfortable with it. Now, if for some reason it works out, eh, it didn't really seem like a good fit. Congratulations, you just dodged a bullet. But if it comes up, it's like, oh my God, this is a no brainer. Excellent. Keep moving forward. Figure out what are the other pieces of the puzzle that you need to do. So if you found value in this, hey, love for you to subscribe to the channel, check out some of our other videos, or if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us at aspiringsolopreneur.com. Keep smiling.